Hello, I'm Kira Maud Hargrave. And I'm Tom DeFreston. And we're here today talking to you from Oxford in England about our collaboration, Julia and the Shark. We've got some questions that we've very kindly been sent. And the first question is, why is this story the perfect one for today's readers? And how will kids relate to Julia? Do you want to take the first part of that question? That's a good question. Um, I think this is a book that is in part about, um, well, mainly about Julia, this girl who's got this kind of astonishingly complex internal world um, full of, as we all do, fears and hopes and bits of wonder and worries. And really this book was in part a kind of exploration of that. Um, and Julia's mum actually has some real struggles with mental health and with her own mental health. And Julia has to kind of map her own way through that and learn how to deal with it. And we wanted really to kind of write a book that was a bit of a love note um, to anyone who's had to go through that kind of experience. And I think that kids will particularly relate to Julia because who hasn't felt those feelings that are so big, they kind of feel like they take over your entire body. And who hasn't felt so much better after talking to someone? And this is the lesson that unfortunately it takes Julia a very dangerous journey to learn. Um, but we hope that readers will really connect to her in all her faults and her flaws and fall in love with her just as much as we did. Um, the next question was, are there any other animals you're considering for the story or what was the draw for the Greenland shark? I'm going to start with this one because I'm obsessed with the Greenland shark. So obviously the book's called Julia and the Shark. And the shark is a kind of amazing creature that is called the Greenland shark. Greenland sharks can live for up to 800 years. And they know this because they've dated crystals that exist in their eyes. They've dated the light that gets caught in their crystals. So as soon as I started learning these facts about the Greenland shark, I knew I wanted to write a book about it. And we have been married for seven years, together for 14, and we've been looking for a really long time for a story to tell together, because I write stories and Tom paints incredible paintings. And we wanted to find a way to bring these two skills together, but it had to be the perfect story. And when I started reading about the Greenland shark, I knew it would be a perfect metaphor for all these deep inner feelings that our main character, Julia, is experiencing. And also on a more simple level, the skin of the shark, if you go to Google and look up the skin of the shark, you'll see that it's very similar to the surfaces that Tom has created for the book. And they're actually the surfaces he's been making for years and years. So I thought it was a lovely meant to be moment. And then the final question is, what have been some of our favorite moments of collaborating as a couple? Ooh. Well, I think we've collaborated lots before, but this was our first um, book together and I think we thought it was going to be pretty disastrous yeah and that there would be lots of arguments um, but actually there really weren't it was kind of um, really lovely and um, we've made other books since um, and what was our favourite moment? Well we might have different favourite moments do you what want to say mine first? So my favourite moment was the actually the very first time that Tom and I basically we had to find a publisher who would publish this book. So we discussed a few key moments that might exist in the book and then Tom went away and created these moments in art because we really wanted this to be a story told as much through pictures as it is through words. And he came back with these three astonishing pictures, none of which are exactly in the book as they are, as they existed then, but they were the first sort of sketches, if you like, of those moments. And I honestly got chills because I knew that it was going to work, that this was going to be a collaboration that would be not only really enjoyable, but also really successful and would hopefully lead to more, which it has. I think my favourite moment was we knew that we wanted to do a book with the Greenland shark, because as Kieran said, it's this, you know, both the real life facts about it feel kind of unbelievable, feel almost mythic, but then that it had this astonishing potential for metaphor as well so we already knew that it was this creature that could exist on two levels but then I can remember Kieran running downstairs actually into this room um, and saying to me um, this girl Julia just walked into my head and as sometimes happens like Kieran had been there at her writing desk and then Julia just appeared and just spoke the very first lines of the book to her 
And the moment Kieran came downstairs and said those words to me, I knew that there was this character who was just alive, who was full of all these complex emotions and that we had the start of a book. So we've loved telling you a little bit more about Judy and the Shark. It's an adventure story. It's the story about a mother and a daughter. It's a story about a girl struggling with big emotions. And most of all, it's a story about how it's OK not to be OK. And we really hope you love it. Really do. Thank you so much.